Do you need a credit score? I'm gonna tell you if you need a credit score and why. Hi, I'm Shayna of The Wealth Vibe and I create videos to help you eliminate debt, grow your income, and build wealth. Financial experts like Dave Ramsey say no, but the rest of the world says yes. So what is the answer? Do you need a credit score? Weigh in on what you think by hitting the like button if you think you need a credit score. Here's my take. Can you get by in life without a credit score? Yes, you absolutely can. However, there is one caveat. You're gonna need cash or special financing to be able to purchase major things like a house or a car. So you're gonna have to have cash and lots of cash on hand to be able to pay for your mortgage, your car, or any other major expense that typically people get a loan for. Or you can still get a loan, but you'll have to use old school underwriting techniques to be able to qualify you for a loan. And that's called manual underwriting. However, very, very few places do offer that service anymore. So yes, you can get by. It is absolutely possible, but it's not realistic for most everyday people. I am willing to bet that 98% to 99% of us will need credit to be able to make large purchases such as buying a house or a car, to be able to take out lines of credit such as credit cards, personal loans, and even student loans. And it also impacts our ability to get low rates on insurance and maybe your ability to secure a job. It also even impacts your ability to have a security deposit or not when taking out cell phones, getting an apartment, or any other things. It really impacts a lot of areas of our lives. And by having a better credit score, you'll be able to have much more leverage to be able to take out more lines of credit and be able to get better rates on things. Having credit and good credit at that increases your chances of approval and the higher credit is, you're able to get lower interest rates and then higher credit limits. So if credit scores impact so many major consumer decisions in your life, what is a credit score? Well, simply put, credit scores are a measurement of how well you manage debt. And in no way, in no form, does it measure your net worth, your income, or your wealth. It is simply a measurement of how well you manage debt. So in order to establish credit and thereby get a credit score, you have to get into some sort of debt because creditors need to see what your experience has been with credit and how well you manage the credit that you received in the past. And typically credit scores, there are two different measurements for credit scores. There's the FICO system and the Vantage score system. And typically credit scores range from 300 to 850 points. So what credit score do you need? Lately, a lot of people have actually been bragging about being in the 800 club. So as I mentioned, scores range upwards to 850. So people are really excited that they've been able to cross the 800 mark and they believe that that ranks them higher than others. However, I must remind you that credit scores are not an indicator of your income or your wealth because it is totally possible to be unemployed, have a low income, and also be in debt. And the reason why I know this is because I have had pretty good credit scores while being unemployed and having a low income and having lots of debt. <laughs> but you definitely do want to have a good or excellent credit score. Good scores range from 700 to 750 and then excellent scores range from 750 to 850. So that means that you don't need to be in the 800 club to have an excellent score. And you also don't need to be in the 800 club to have a good or excellent score that will then reap you some benefits such as lower interest rates, higher credit limits, and things of that nature. Although you wanna have a good credit score, I beg you, please do not obsess over every single point increase on your credit score. And don't worry about being in the 800 club because you can still reap the benefits in the good or the excellent range, even if you aren't in the 800 club. And really the truth of the matter is that 
If you are doing well with your personal finances, your credit score will definitely follow because that definitely happened for me. And if you want to learn more about how I was able to increase my credit score by almost 100 points in one year, check out the video here and make sure that you are subscribed so I can see you in the next video.